So Razer recently announced their new Blade 16 and Blade 18. These are all new chassis this year, but just up front, this video is being recorded before the Nvidia embargo. So I cannot benchmark or play games on any of this stuff. I can't test these devices in terms of their performance capabilities, but I was able to check out their kind of design language and just the things that they've changed this year in terms of the overall package. Uh, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on. So we're gonna start off with the 16 first. Right off the bat, this has got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, but the kicker is that this has native resolution switching. So it can switch between a 1080p 240 hertz panel and then switch to a 4K 120 hertz panel. And these are both native resolutions. So the idea being you can use that higher resolution for creative work, right? You want the clean pixels, really sharp images, or watching movies at high resolution, fantastic. But then when you switch to gameplay, you want that faster refresh rate, but also a native resolution at that, this can do it. I've never seen any other gaming laptop pull this off. Now, check this out. This display uses mini LEDs for the backlighting. So you get great contrast ratios, but the thing that really blew me away on the screen is how bright it gets. Like, look at this go. So at peak, this thing will hit a thousand nits and that's not a thousand nits in like one section on a pure black screen. It's a thousand nits sustained across the whole panel. It's a ridiculously bright screen or it can get ridiculously bright. Uh, I have to put it like half brightness to be able to shoot this properly on camera. At the top, there's a privacy shutter on the webcam. So if you ever want to kill the feed, you can. But with this larger display, and it's beautiful, it comes with a bit of a change in form factor. So this is last year's 15 inch blade. Uh, and the horizontal dimension is the same. Nothing's changed there. But if you look at it side by side in terms of the uh, depth of the device, it's a little bit longer. So I don't know, nine millimeters or so, but the biggest change is the thickness. So this is now a full five millimeters thicker than was last year. And also it's a heavier device. It's now 2.45 kilos. So when I first heard this number, I was like, what is going on? Razer is not known for big devices, not like this, right? But then I looked at it and I realized not only is it the right thing to do, it's, I, I'm so happy they did it. So the way that the industry's moved right now, like Intel, and Nvidia, they are making more powerful device, more powerful components for their for the laptop industry, and they just pull more wattage. And the truth is, the more wattage you put into something, you have you need to figure out a way to cool it. And the way that Razer has been cooling the devices in the past, I feel like it just reached a limit. You can only do so much in terms of like vapor chambers and thermal compounds to cool it properly. You have to go thicker at some point. And this is what they did this year. So for the new 16 and 18 inch blade, Razer has thicker and heavier devices than they normally would. And it's all to just make room for the more powerful components on the inside. Uh, higher wattage across the board, and you just need a thicker device to do it. Now, a quick note on performance. So I was shown some Cinebench runs on the 16 inch blade using the 13950HX and it can hit some monster numbers. They even had some scores that broke 32,000. I don't know if that's an anomaly or something, but clearly they have found a way to cool it properly because you cannot hit numbers like that on an improperly cooled laptop. No way, regardless of what the chip is inside, right? And they also have some tuning features in the works that allows their blade 16 and 18 to be able to push beyond factory spec. Okay. Enough of the 16, let's talk about the 18. It's a little bit bigger than last year. It's longer, it's wider, it's a little bit thicker and heavier. Uh, but again, it's all in pursuit of just better performance. See, when you have powerful components that need that kind of breathing room to cool properly, you gotta bump up the size and they've done it. Now, the main feature of this year's 18 inch blade is its 18 inch screen. And this is a absolutely stunning screen. 16 by 10 aspect ratio, QHD plus and 240 Hertz. There's no mini LED tech and there's also no native resolution switching. It's just a big, awesome screen. So if you're looking for that desktop replacement, like 18 inch screen. Uh, now with that extra screen real estate, you also get more just space on the inside. And this is why the 18 inch model can be equipped with the top of the line configuration. So you get that 13 980HX from Intel, like their super fast monster chip, and you get higher wattage on the CPUs. You get 65 watts for the 18 inch models. Now, even with the larger screen, Razer's kept the classic Razer look to their 18 inch device. It's got the same kind of keyboard with the RGB lighting. They got the same kind of trackpad, speaker placement. It really is just a more spacious, regular Razer laptop. Thicker, bigger, way more powerful, uh, but yeah, 
That's the 18 inch blade. Now, what I'm most interested in is what this device can do with their tuning software and that top spec chip from Intel. Like we saw that 32,000 score. What can this thing do at the top end? Uh, okay, I wanna wrap up this video with a peek at the inside. So these are pre-production units. Uh, they're not guaranteed to be finalized hardware, but on the 18 inch device, if you take a look at the inside, you have your big vapor chamber here. It's got your CPU and GPU. You have two RAM slots, two NVMe slots, a 91.7 watt hour battery, and you have that third fan that Razer puts on their big laptops. The 16 inch device also has two RAM slots and two NVMe slots, but these are stacked one on top of each other. There's a 95 watt hour battery in the bottom, as well as that large vapor chamber up top. But those are the two new blades from Razer. I'm particularly interested to see the 18 inch performance, like what can that thing do at the top end? But personally, I'm just drawn to this thing, the 16 inch, especially with that crazy cool screen. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video.